What's good? It's your boy Shino4757. I'm going to install something in this car. Durango. It's not my car, it's my brother's car. But you can see we're gonna replace this shit right here. This old hair unit is coming out and it's gonna be replaced with this. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Nice and big. Tesla screen. I'm gonna show y'all the back. I ordered it. Make sure I put in a link in the description so y'all can get this exact radio. I'm just doing some installation for them. Them the ports on the back. Even control the air conditioning control. All on the screen. Look at that. And we gonna put this in here. So, I'm going to have to take this radio out, of course, so let's go ahead and do that. When you buy the unit, it comes in a box like this, of course. It's the box. I done tore it up, open it, uh, it come in there, and then it come like this. And then when you open it, you got all your right here, this little box. Probably got a bunch of wires and shit in it, so let's go ahead and open that. See, you got a lot of wires in here, so let's see what come with this radio. We're gonna go over all these wires and see what we got here. We got this wire, which is the antenna wire, some more ISO wires. Pretty sure this is the uh, wire that plugs into the uh, the head of the car. This is probably going to be for your camera. I have no idea. This is this must be some type of USB port. Can y'all see that? It looked like USB A. That's what it looked like. Get a good close up on that so y'all can see that port. Make it autofocus. There you go. Yeah, that looked like a USB A port. So I'm not a hundred percent sure on on that. So let's put that to the side. This is the uh, GPS antenna. So we have mount that in the car somewhere behind the radio. This is another USB cable. Right, this is some AV cables, it look like, video. And then we got some more ISO wires. And then we got another USB cord right here. See? Uh, the chassis of the car or inside the wire harness itself. This is the back of the unit where all the wires and stuff gonna be plugged into. Let's go ahead and try to get this installed. So, first you wanna do is you wanna come over here and pry this off. Just pry this motherfucker off. Wait, right that, see? Right there, pull that. So from the way it looked, y'all, I was just looking around once I pour this, it's uh, it's like two screws right here. There's one right there, and then it's one right over there. I don't know, the camera look kind of dark so you can't see it. But it's two screws, okay? It's one right here, and there's one right here. So I think once we remove these screws, we'll probably be able to pour this off. And then we can see what's under here. All right, y'all, got the two screws out. Now let's see what we got behind here. That's taking this off. Okay, so we got this right here. Got a couple wires, look like. So we gonna unplug this one right here. Let's unplug this one. Gonna take that out, I think it's a little tab. You just like that, see? And then unplug this one and this one. It's always the last plug that give me the most problems. Uh, let's see, it's just that white tab. Yeah, right there. All right, this one give him. All right, I'm gonna have to stop the video on that one, y'all. All right, got the white little tab out of there. So this is how you look 
once you get everything out and shit. And now we still got to get this out. So even though we got this out, oh, did I mention you gonna need a seven millimeter for this? No, I didn't. So let's just screw, unscrew this right now. I would recommend unhooking the battery, but I'm not gonna do that. Screw right there. Get the other screw. I'll put it right here. Slide this boy out. Up, up, up. Nope, nope. Two more screws right there. One, two. Just get that real quick. Try not to edit this so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. So when y'all installing this, it'll be a simple, easy breezy. I think this radio is not even that hard to install. So that's why I'm uh, that's why I'm installing it right now. Alrighty. Let's get these screw out right here. Take this motherfucker right here. Yeah, give me this shit. Come on, bitch, get out. Get the fuck out. There we go. All right. Nah, I can. It's safe to say that I took the four screws out. I can. I should just be able to pull this out now. Oh, there we go. Had to kind of wiggle it a little bit, but it's all good. Okay, here we go. Now we got a couple more plugs back here, of course. We gotta get those unplugged. So, this tab right here, push that, pull out. Same here. Same here. See the tab right there? Right there. Pull that, pull out. All right, the radio antenna. Uh, I think you can pull this one out. This one going. Oh, there it is. This little tab right here. See this? Right there. Make sure you push that. Mm, pull. There you go. Come right out. Uh, see that one right there? Another tab. You push that. Pull it out. And then we got one more little wire here. We just gonna take this out. Um, and I think the way to take this out here. Okay. Little metal, little springy thing right here. Right, that metal fucking tab was hard to fucking pull out, but we got it. So we gonna pull this fucker out like this. And this is the oldest radio that came with the car, the factory unit. Which we can get this crap out of here now because we are going to install this right here. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is nice big screen see that don't that look nice see the back of it and that's a good thing you see how small the unit is in the back so that's a good thing yep that's definitely probably for the backup cam see that's what that's for. So you can use your factory uh, backup cam. That's the good part about it. USB device. This little port here. Turn this motherfucker around here like this. And we can just attach this to the back right here. So with these, with these wires, I think they all go one way. I don't think you can put nothing in the wrong spot, see? You have to find it until it fits, so... Uh, let's see. I think it's this one right here, actually. Yep. Just slide that in there. Like that. Yep. And then that's in there. It's for the USB. Let's get this. Uh, it's another harness right here. And I believe this harness goes right here on the next one. So let's go ahead and put that on there right now goes in there like that right there no turn it around this is what happens when you try to do shit with one hand this is exactly what fucking happens like this so while I'm sitting here trying to struggle and get this shit hooked up all right there we go it's just using it's just using one hand y'all it's using one hand I'm trying to entertain y'all all right 
Uh, what else we got? These are some more ISO wires. It's good if you're not gonna be using these wires, you don't even have to plug it up, but this, in this case, we actually got headrests that we gonna install in here too, so yeah, we just gonna put this right here. Uh, let's see, yeah, throw this right here. What's this? Nope, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Right there, right there. Yep, 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 this is the right one. So on this side right here, yep, it goes right there. Yep, there we go. So got that shit in there like that. All right, good job. So then uh, now we left with the uh, GPS antenna. Now let's see where we can uh, connect this. I'm pretty sure the GPS antenna goes in this uh, blue hole right here. So let's go ahead and get that cracking open real quick and shoot. All right, there it is, y'all, uh, GPS antenna. Yep. See this damn wire thing? Trying to get that shit off. All right, there we go. Got it. All right. Blue plug goes in here. Yeah. That's done. All right. Uh, do we got any other wires? We got this blue one right here. This is another uh, wire for video. It's good that they have these plastic uh, tabs on here. That way people can see it better. So let's do, uh, this is my son talking to me in the background. What's going on, son? Um, so let me just go ahead and uh, yeah. slip that right in there like that. All right, so we got one, two, where we at? Yeah, we got about yeah, all the wires in there. Yeah, so yeah, so oh, we got some more down here. Make sure y'all connect all these wires, y'all. Don't forget nothing. We got this is the USB, so. We get this metal ass wire off of here again. Cause y'all already know I hate this shit. It's that one hand action we got going on right here. So just remember that. Alright. So on the USB. And the USB is probably gonna go like right here. In this little part right here. So uh, let my brother hold the camera make my life easier so put the usb in here like this so now here it should look like that with all the wires attached hanging down like that very simple very simple um now we still got a couple iso wires we gotta find because we got to find the iso wire that goes to this so actually it's already here so this right here Let's unravel this. Yep, take that shit off like that. There we go. So this is gonna go in here. This little port right here. So you wanna plug that in there like that. So, Alright. That's plugged in. And then you want to get down here because these is gonna be like air conditioner controls and stuff. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, it still seem like some parts I gotta get, so I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna come back and let y'all know what's going on. All right, so got the wire right here, which this is going to be for the uh, AC controls from my uh, guests. So we gonna unravel this like that. Then, right here, these two wires, slip this in there like this, make sure it's the right way, right there, like that, and then this, see these ports on the bottom of the AC unit, that's where these two go, these two wires right here, so, we're going to do one. Let's see. Shit. Got one. 
right there. It's in there, snapped in there. And we got two right there. Now this last wire, so simple. This should just plug right up in here, just like this. You should plug right in. Uh -oh. This way. Uh oh. No, it doesn't plug right in. It plugs in this one. Yes. Okay. So, if you if y'all look at that, y'all see that this is how they sunk it. I don't know why they sent it like that with this radio, but they need to uh, fix that. I don't know. That's very unprofessional. But um, but it's all good. We gonna have to try to get it in there. But I know this is where it goes. They just didn't um. They didn't file this right, so it's not sliding in with the grooves on the factory harness. So I'm gonna try to fix this up and then I'm gonna stop the camera and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all. All right, y'all, we almost done. I finally got the stupid plug to fit. I had to use a screwdriver to kind of pry this over this because like I said, they, uh, they built it wrong, but it's fine. It still works. So this core right here, this is going to go in the factory USB. Now this is for you if you got USB ports in your um, Durango or any car or whatever, this is going to help retain retrain um, the factory USB. So we just gonna plug this right here. There you go, sir. Just let my brother hold the camera real quick. Alright. So, I'm just gonna put this in here like this. Yep, right there. Bam, just like that. And then this, it's gonna go right here. Inside this cable right here. We can plug this up right here. There we go. So, look like we almost got everything hooked up. Now we gotta hook up the factory camera. Before we even um, turn this radio on, we are going to uh, do some tests to see if everything is uh, functioning correctly. And if everything is functioning correctly, then we can go ahead and put this bad motherfucker back in the car. Um, this GPS antenna. We gonna throw this in here, like round up in here somewhere. Just in the back, kind of. Well, actually, actually, there's a piece of metal right here. There we go. We gonna, yeah, it's a magnet. It goes right in there. All right. So then, after you're done with like your installation and stuff, all you wanna do is take all your wires and stuff, and you are gonna wanna kind of tuck it in in good places. So. Kind of tuck these wires back here like this. Uh, radio wire right here. This is the antenna wire. This goes over here. This port right here. And then this black wire. This is going to go, this is the antenna right here. Okay, antenna wire goes here. Right there. Bam. Okay. Uh, we got another wire right here. And now that I'm looking at it, it actually goes up here. So this right part here. Oh, this is the AC controls. Yep. AC controls. So let's go ahead and throw that in there real quick. See if y'all can get this so y'all can see. Right here, it's a little two spots hiding. We're going to slide that right in there like that. See? And then this one this one oh there we go this is the main port right here remember we were trying to figure out earlier where the hell this plug was at so there we go right there 
Oh yeah, and one more thing. So if you notice, it's a cutout right here. If you don't notice, so that cutout, you gotta get your factory trim and get this little part down here for your hazard lights, steering wheel, or whatever you get that work. This little bar right here, you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna take those star screws out. So it's about four of them in total. So you got to remove that, remove this piece, and put it on this. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put the radio in here and I'm gonna let y'all know how that go. All right, and there it go. I got the four screws in there. One, two, and two right there. And um, this is how I look with it on there. So all we gotta do is actually attach it to the actual body of the car. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention. See these headrests? I am going to install these headrests as well. I'll make sure I leave a link to these in the description. These are Android headrests. They, it's like its own Android tablet on its own. That shit is dope, and it's gonna be hooked up with this Tesla radio. So, let's get this shit cracking, y'all. So, to install these hair rests, I'm gonna need this little thing right here to go pretty much over this pole. The only way to get it over this pole is a wire right here that's coming out, so I can't get it in there. But, if you look right here and you pull the panel off the seat, it's a little plug like right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Wait a minute, hold on. It's this, this yellow plug right here. It, you unplug that, take the wire, put it through it, the piece, and put the wire back through and plug it back up. And that's how we gonna get that on there. So let's go ahead and do that. So after getting the headrest off and everything, she kind of look like this with the black pieces going first then these things over it and then this black part right here and these two holes on each side it's gonna be this part should be facing the back of the hair rest because that's where the TV is gonna be so we're gonna slide it on probably like this put it like that like that and then we can do the other side the same way Let's see if we can do that I had to use two hands but I finally got it all right yeah that's how it's gonna look on the hair rest like that oh it's fine the little tabs fell off but that's how the it should look just like that so let me go ahead and finish putting this together and I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to try to do it on both sides as well. And then I'm going to try to show you if I can, how I'm going to run the wire as well if we get a chance to do that. So I'll be back. Alright y'all, so I got it on there. It was a fucking pain in the ass to even get this on here. So I had to put, I had to put all this on here and put this little piece on here last. Then try to feed it through here which I got it I just had to uh, I had to make like another kind of a little hole on the side just to slide this one through and in the process I kind of you know was going up here on the side right right you see see in the process I kind of split the wire so hopefully that has no effect on the radio you know I mean not on the radio but the uh, hair rest itself but we'll see y'all, like I said, first time doing this, so. Okay, y'all, so I got the wires right here. Uh, so what I ended up doing was, after I feeded it down through the headrest right here, this little wire right here is gonna connect to this one right here. And then you can feed this wire probably up to the radio and just connect hot and ground to the radio. And let's see it probably show you show y'all that too in a minute so i'm gonna do that run these wires on both sides run them to the radio and then i'm gonna holler back at y'all all right if y'all can't tell 
It got dark outside. Man, it's easy to hook up hair rests, but it's it's just a little complicated sometimes. You got to work with um, you know what you got. I think I did a pretty good job. I did a good job at uh, securing the wires and hiding all the wires and stuff. Sorry, the lighting in here is probably bad. <laughs> Can't hardly see. I don't have a light on this camera or anything, but as you can see, I still got to put the radio inside of the goddamn thing. I had to hook the hair restors up, so I got the hair restors hooked up. These Android hair restors. And uh, I guess I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop the video, put the head unit in there, and turn everything on, see how it works, and I'll be back. So uh, before I put this head unit back in here, I just had to uh, say a few things real quick. Sorry about the lightning again. Oh shit! God, light cut off. And uh, so, yeah, these two wires right here, we're gonna say video out on the actual head unit that's plugged up in here. Those are the wires that's gonna go to your hair restors. Video output one and video output two. Remember that going forward. And then these wires on the end of these hair restors, you see how you got two wires right here? Those have to be hooked up to the um, the hot and ground that is going to turn on your hair restless. Also, the same thing goes for the uh, if I can find the other side. Uh, here we go, right here. Same thing for the other side, right here. Oh shit, that's not it. It's right here. Okay, I'm having a hard time today, y'all. Same with this one. So, I'm going to hook all this up and then. I'm going to come back by the time I come back. All this shit should be hooked up, hopefully. So, see y'all in a minute. Alright, y'all. So, like I said, I'm still working on this. Um, the hair rest TVs. You see this wire right here? This yellow wire right here is going to be the uh, constant power wire. I just tie the hair rest wires into this wire here which is the yellow so the red is going this yellow and then the black wire which is the ground on this side the two ground wires which is the black wires from the hair rest right here goes on this right here the ground split your wire and attach those to that all right so I'm gonna do that and see what happens oh yeah y'all one more thing when y'all installing this radio we see these two tabs right here you have to make sure there is no wires blocking it so rearrange all these wires the best way you can and put everything back in there nice and neatly if you can but that's what I'm about to do right now and this radio should be in here so I'll see y'all in a minute once again Make sure these cables is managed correctly, putting this radio in, because you will not get it in if you don't have the cables organized and put in there neatly. I had to learn that the hard way, so I'm just giving y'all a heads up. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, so in the process of um, putting the radio on, I realized you gotta take these clips one, two, three, the factory clips of the old trim on your radio. You take these clips and you put them on the new trim. You see how there's no clips on there? So that's one thing to take note of, y'all, when y'all putting this back together. So that's what I'm about to do right now, and I'll let y'all know what happened. So when you first turn it on, um you see an android screen but before this screen because it popped up so fast before this screen it was a red durango so let's just see how long this uh this load up i had to push the reset button which is located uh right here you got to stick like a um, ink pen or something in there to even get to it 
All right, y'all. We finally got it all hooked up. So let me just go ahead and show y'all what's going on. This is the uh, Android hair unit right here. So I'm going to go over this whole unit so y'all can see when y'all buying this unit, everything y'all need to know. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. Don't that look beautiful? It looked like it was factory made with the car. You see it? Put some light in there for y'all so y'all can see. Look at that. That look beautiful. See that? That is nice. Beautiful. At the back, we got the hairrest on. Just turn that on like that. That's one. Let's turn the other one on. Boom. Look at that. And all these is they own individual tablets. Uh, I'm not connected to no Wi-Fi or nothing right now, so let me show you. Show you these tablets, show you what one of them do. We can start with this. So y'all can get an idea if y'all in case y'all wanna think about buying this damn tablet. Um This is the main interface. So we got settings, music. There's some music already pre-recorded on here. And also, you can hear the uh, the sound comes out of the actual thing. So I don't want to get copywritten. I'm going to turn this shit down because I know how YouTube is. Uh, I don't know what none of this is. Britney Spears. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So um, USB. This is if you want to connect your USB drive, thumb drive to your car so you can have your music on your thumbnail if you want. Uh, what is this? FM transmit. Now, this must be a transmitter for your car. So, I'm assuming that you can transmit this signal to the your actual head unit. But I don't know who would do that, but I don't know. Uh, video. This is if you have video files on a thumb drive or USB stick. Well, they both the same. Why do I say thumb drive USB stick? Um, easy Connect. This the good part about this Easy Connect is you can mirror your whole phone. If somebody's sitting in the back in the back seat and they just wanna, you know, you know, have their phone and they chill it and they don't wanna use a little tablet on the screen, they can use their phone and it'll mirror everything on the actual tablet in the back. That's just for in the back. So a lot of entertainment in the back. We got aux here. That's if you got something planned on the head unit. Like if you got a video, you can use the screen from here and there to share it. Uh, navigation. Um, if you want to have navigation on the back of the car, I mean, I guess it's good. Um, if we go here. Got APK installer, aux, which I already showed you what aux do. Go back. Uh, boot animation. Um, so I'm assuming this is the uh, boot animation when the Android start. If my camera can focus, I don't know why I did that. There we go. Yeah, so I don't know what that's about. So I'm going to go back, get out of there. Uh, we got Google Chrome, easy connect again. We got the equalizer file manager the FM transmit Google music play play store uh, quick pick I don't know what this is let's see it say quick picks I guess I don't know a lot of thumbnails and stuff I don't know um, settings before we go to settings we gonna go to this video icon and this is the video program if you got stuff on the external hard drive flash drive things like that in that nature now we're gonna go to settings so we can see exactly what's on this um, thing we got the internet network and settings we got uh, apps and notifications scroll through here look at your apps and all that good stuff go go back go to sound 
the tablet is pretty responsive as well it's not a uh, got sound and all that stuff uh, let's see sound oh well I found the remote verse so with this radio when I put the car in reverse it uh the sound come on but I got to do it for this head unit it's actually not for the actual uh, the tablet in the back which I don't know why they got a setting like that but we got sound location user and accounts car settings now I find it weird that there is some car settings here on this specific unit because it's actually a uh, um, their headrest so I'm trying to figure out why do you need car settings on here uh, but if you want to look at all these things we got extra settings factory set MC you update that's uh, stern wheel yeah I don't even know why these settings even apply to this thing in the first place so we're gonna go to settings uh, I guess this is a quad core T3 P1 uh, we got the developers options we gonna change this uh, we gonna change this to let's see if they got it in our language because when you get these uh, products from China the time zones probably would be set in that region so you have to come in here and uh, manually set it uh, so far I am not seeing my time zone which is weird uh, what if, okay I didn't even mean to do that but uh, we definitely not in East Africa uh, definitely not in East Africa <sighs> here we go Eastern Daylight Savings Time okay there we go uh, go to about device this is Android 9 click that a few times it should uh well I don't know how they do it but on here I guess it's different but normally when I click that nine times it uh it'll show some type of Android Pie or something like that you got storage settings this got what 16 gigs on here um gonna go back out all right so we didn't see this tablet enough of the tablet we came mainly for this thing right here so this is what we about to uh, look at but look how gorgeous this radio is y'all this this radio is like one of the most gorgeous radios i ever seen in a long time uh especially for this type of car because of the radio that was in here originally if y'all uh, if y'all forgot this is the radio <sighs> that was in here this thing right here so uh, this thing right here I'm not saying it's a bad radio but compared to this thing right here and the fact that it has Android operating system on it it's kind of a no-brainer which one you will want to get <sighs> so let's go through this radio y'all we, we finally here and y'all waited all this time for me to install this motherfucker. So let's see. Up here, we got navigation, radio, music, controls, Bluetooth, video, and car auto. We can scroll over over here. We got our Play Store. We got Explorer, which is um, the standard internet browser that comes with this thing right here. So we can go back out of there. Um... We got phone link up here. That's for easy connect. I'm gonna try to connect that, show y'all that. Uh, this is uh, the apps and stuff. You can go to more settings, default apps. You can change your default maps to Google Maps like I did. Your default video player, you can change that. You can change your default music player. And uh, even your default radio, which I don't know if you want to change what that say. Android 9. System is up to date. Let's go back. Uh, let's see what else we got here, y'all. So, 
we don't really got too much in the settings part so we can keep moving on we go to apps right here and then you got your all your apps and stuff and everything set up over here all nice if you had a uh, a DVR uh, camera you can go here and you can actually see what the hell was going on as you can see you see so that's nice um we're gonna go to DVR and then the DVR stuff will be up here you got file manager the file manager uh, see all your files on your phone uh, okay we've been all up here and stuff already so we got console the console is um, where you can control the volume the uh, EQ settings and all that good sh like that let's go back out of there um what else we got here car auto I don't know what exactly this is but I'm assuming uh, yeah I don't I don't know what that is um, let's try to go to that again to say waiting I think it's uh, it has something to do with uh, the carplay thing so we don't really need that right now but it, it's a function you definitely can do with the carplay you can mirror your whole phone on the damn unit itself you see how you can turn the light thing right there turn the screen off uh, turn the brightness down power button right here or yep power button hold that right there there you go turn it back on uh, we got the recent tabs page over here you can have your recent tabs right here probably if you want to you can take some shit like this put this up here or you know what I'm saying or let me see if we can do some multitasking so let's see nah I look like I can multitask I know you can multitask because I was doing it earlier when I was just messing around with shit on the radio but I'm not a hundred percent sure so we got Bluetooth Bluetooth you can um you know connect your phone and all that shit. And if you want to listen to music through your Bluetooth you can just go to here we got the climax controls at the bottom right here we're gonna bring this up so we can get a better view of everything and then that's all your buttons the defroster seat everything now the one thing about this radio you cannot uh, control the rear the reach the rear seats in the back let me show you if you open the door see tell your door open tell your door shit will I recommend this radio yes I would um, the radio overall is it's a very nice radio It's better than any factory radio because you can put all your Android apps and do all the shit, yeah. Bluetooth you fuck yeah. angry birds if you fuck yeah. play angry birds in the car I don't know what you want to do but all that good stuff you can do with this radio and this radio is the truth so if you got a 2011 durango and up this is definitely a um a buy took me damn near all day to install the motherfucker, but i had to install it with these damn hair rest tvs and so far i am pretty impressed i'm i'm pretty impressed um so yeah um, I, I like what I see as a matter of fact that's what I'm gonna do there we go uh, so now we connect it to the internet because I wasn't even gonna show y'all no more internet but I'm trying to you know just trying to make y'all make sure y'all get y'all money's worth all right so we're gonna go to Internet Explorer the internet should work pretty good on here mm, it's loading up well I don't know if it's lo oh actually it's not loading up so Let's open up a tab here. Let's go to YouTube. And uh, one of my favorite channels on the internet. The Traffic Street Beats. This is one of my other YouTube channels a lot of people don't know about. Uh, I post videos on this channel every single day if y'all interested in uh, 
messing with your boy. He let me know. So we're going to push search. We'll do the search. There we go. Please hit that subscribe button, y'all. These are all my videos. We'll go here. The Traffic Street Beats. This is one of my recent videos I uploaded. See how good it play. Turn it up. Yeah, that's one of my um, other YouTube channels, y'all. Please subscribe. I need a thousand subscribers, please. So subscribe to your boy. Show me some support. Other than that, this is a very, very nice head unit. Um, I love it a lot. If y'all guys like the radio, let me know. Uh, like I said, if you got any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments. I love the radio personally, and uh, I'm going to try to get some better pictures of it so y'all can see it a little better but uh it's been your boy shino 4757 um i know it took me like three years to upload another video but i'm out peace